We're so grateful to share with you the content in all of our videos and more grateful that you're here with us. Today, we're gonna to be discussing what is the oxygen concentrator, the reason a concentrator may be needed, the general cleaning and maintenance, and the do's and don'ts when using. To start off, an oxygen concentrator takes the air in the room and extracts the oxygen from it. It then filters the oxygen using special filters called sieve beds. There are usually two. These filters capture the nitrogen and allow purified oxygen to pass through into your master cannulas. This process is called pressure swing absorption. Some concentrators are stationary, while portable ones run on electricity or batteries. Stationary oxygen concentrators are ideal for home use, while portable oxygen concentrators are smaller devices that you can easily take along in sleek carry-on bags, giving you the flexibility to stay mobile and enjoy life without constraints. Oxygen concentrators are used for patients with conditions affecting their lungs or with patients just finding it hard to breathe. These conditions include, but are not limited to, COPD, cystic fibrosis, asthma, heart failure, pneumonia, lung cancer, pulmonary hypertension, and pulmonary fibrosis. Unlike compressed oxygen tanks or liquid oxygen, these will eventually run out or need to be refilled or replaced. With oxygen concentrators, on the other hand, they filter and concentrate the surrounding air, generating medical grade oxygen with a lifespan from four to seven years. Whether stationary or portable, they can provide a continuous or pulse flow to you at an oxygen purity level of 90 to 95%. Cleaning and maintenance of the machines is pretty simple. It's typically advised to wash your cannula once a week in a mixture of 10 parts water and one part vinegar. Every two to four weeks, replace your cannula or mask. Change every time you get sick, obviously. Every month, replace your air filter. Every two months, replace your tubing. If you're using a humidifier bottle, you should clean at least once a week and replace every one to two months. Once again, read the manufacturer's manual to ensure the best maintenance for your device. As far as the oxygen concentrator itself goes, dampen a cloth, add a drop of mild detergent, and wipe down the outside rubbing firmly to remove any grime on the outside. Be careful when wiping around the vents to ensure no damage. Rinse the cloth again and wipe back down to remove any soapy residue. The do's and don'ts when using an oxygen concentrator is last, but certainly not least. Avoid using the concentrator in dusty environments. Use voltage stabilizers. Don't let drop in the water, that's kind of obvious. Don't use harsh detergent or harsh cloths to clean. Use cotton swabs for gentle cleaning. Well, there you have it. A general overview of the oxygen concentrator, its accessories and their general maintenance. We hope it was helpful in the way the concentrator works and what it does and is needed for and some of the do's and don'ts. If you'd like to know more on these devices, just click the link below. You can always leave a question or comment and a sleep expert will get back to you. My name is James, your sleep coach here at Sleep Play. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with friends and family. If you hit that notification bell, you'll always be notified of updated products and the latest videos and news. We're so grateful you're here with us once again. We'll see you next week. So long and sweet dreams.